Welcome to our second YouTube clip. Uh, I'm here at Aqua Essentials to talk to you today about liquid carbons and how they work and what their benefits are in a planted aquarium. Liquid carbons have been around for a few years now uh, and they've grown in popularity primarily for one reason and that's the ability to reduce algae in a planted aquarium. Now, as many of you will know, planted aquariums do suffer a great deal from algae when you get your le levels incorrect. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why the liquid carbons have become so popular uh, in the last few years. So there's a few different types now available on the market. I'm here to talk to you about them. Uh, the most common one probably known now is one called Easy Life, Easy Carbo, available in various different sizes. Another one that you might be familiar with is Seachem XL or Seachem Flourish XL. And the last one is the Aqua Carbon. Now all three work in exactly the same manner. Uh, they all work by adding a small amount to your aquarium once a day um, after 24 hours uh, the product is no longer viable so that's why you need to add it every day um, and like I mentioned previously they've become very popular because they help reduce algae but they don't just do that they actually add as you might hope for a liquid carbon supplement now it's not a direct comparison to pressurize CO2. Don't ever think that, well, by adding a liquid carbon, you will get your plants to pearl or, or something like that. That is not the case. From a strength perspective, liquid carbon is roughly 25% the strength of pressurized CO2. There are some concerns uh, when adding liquid carbons into a plant at aquarium and the primary one is how, uh, because of the way it actually operates, it can affect some plants negatively. So plants such as Vallis or Rickia, and they're the sort of plants that will melt as soon as you put a liquid carbon supplement in your aquarium. It's becoming a reducer. Uh, and that's why it does so well against algae, because it reduces the physical growth of the algae. But some plants can't deal with that. There can be a few problems with livestock, apart from plants, when you add a liquid carbon. Um, but from my experience, providing you add the dosage recommended on the bottle, it will not affect shrimp or plants.